Hello, in this tutorial we're going to use Image Pro to collect data from all of the frames in image sequences. And we're going to achieve this by using the data collector. So first off, let's review how we use the data collector. So I'm going to start off by just measuring two images in which we only have one frame. And the first thing I'm going to do is restore my measurements options here. So you can see I'm using the count size tab. I'm going to restore my measurements options. And my measurements options restores my measurements types, my ranges, and my protocol. Here I'm using a smart segmentation protocol. So I can now click on the count button and you can see that I find all of the nuclei in my image and I'm measuring their area, intensity, and their bounding perimeter. So I'm going to go over to the review tab. I'm going to hit reset and what that does is it synchronizes the data collector with the measurements table. And now you can see that in the data collector I'm now going to also measure area, mean intensity and the bounding polygon. And if I go back to the count size tab and let's first check my options for my data collector. So I have deselected the option to measure all frames to clear the collector, to clear the measurements table and to show the table. And all I'm going to do is click collect and here we can see effectively a copy of the measurements we have in our measurements table. Now I can move to my second image. I can restore my measurements options. I can click the option to count. And again, we measure all of the nuclei in the image. Here we can see the measurements are made in the measurements table. And if I hit collect, we can now see that in the data collector, we have two collections being made. So here we see all of the raw data from collection one and collection two. If I choose to group, and here I'm going to group by average, we can now see that I'm summarizing by collection the average area and intensity from each of my images. So it's a very useful way of comparing data between images. Now we move on to my image sequence. So what I want to do now in this image sequence, which is composed of 20 frames, is I want to measure or I want to count and measure the nuclei in all 20 of those frames. And there are various different ways I could achieve this. I guess the simplest is I could just simply restore my measurements options. I could choose the option to count. And again, I could go through the motions of collecting from each frame. I could then move on to the next frame, apply the count, and again collect. And that's a very labor intensive way of working, so it's not going to be very efficient. So I don't recommend that. Another option might be to use um, the automation options in Image Pro, write a macro, and collect my data using a macro. And I definitely recommend everybody becomes very familiar with the macro facility in Image Pro. It's very useful, it's very efficient, but in this case, we don't need to do it. We can actually use the data collector to measure all 20 frames automatically. So let's do that. Let's go back to frame one, we'll clear all our measurements, and now if I check the data collector. I'm going to choose the option to measure all frames. I also want to clear the collector because I want to start with I want to clear these measurements that are currently in my collector. And those are the only options I need. So now all I need to do is select collect all frames. And when we start, we will see that the data collector actually app applies my measurements protocol to each frame. And if we take a look at the collector itself, we can see that it's accumulating data from each of those frames. And there we go, we beat to all 20 frames. I collapse each of the collections in the table. We can see for each frame the average area, intensity, and perimeter of my objects. I can now save my table or export directly to Excel, and I'm able to make my comparison between all of the frames in my image sequence. So you can see using the data collector to measure all frames is an extremely efficient uh, and time saving way to analyze large volumes of data. Thanks for watching. Please contact Media Cybernetics if you have any questions.